Here's an example of the application of cosine law in sports. In international athletic competitions, the measured distances for shot put, javelin, discus, and hammer are calculated without using a tape measure. This process increases the speed and reliability of measurements while at the same time keeping the sport officials safe. You don't want to get hit. Uh, an instrument known as a total station measures from the instrument position to the center of the throwing circle as well as from the instrument position to the point of impact. The station reads the angle between these two points and the information is sent to a computer to calculate the thrown distance using the law of cosines. So here's a little diagram of what that looks like. Now our example here says at a provincial track meet, a total station has been set up to record the data for the javelin throw. However, the computer that is used to calculate the law of cosines is not working and the games must go on. Manually calculate the total distance from the throwing circle to the point of impact given that the distance from the station to the center of the circle is 60 meters. So that's right here. Now the distance from the station to the point of impact is 70.2 meters and the angle between the, these distances is 52, sorry, 53.2 degrees. So that is this angle right here. Okay, so now what do we need to figure out? So let's go ahead and label these. We need to figure out this piece right here, right? We need to know where it ends up going. So this is my side A. So this is going to be my angle A. And then it doesn't matter what I label the other two sides, just as long as when I'm substituting, I keep, uh, keep true to what's going on. So let's call this B, 60 meters, we'll call that B. And the 70.2, we'll call that C. Okay, I don't care about the other angles. So. Now I've got my formula, which is going to be A squared, because I'm going to eventually solve for A. So I've got A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2B times C times cos of angle A. So we're going to make our substitutions, and we're going to solve for our A. So this gives us A squared once we do all of these calculations here. And then we end up square rooting both sides and get A is equal to 59 meters rounded to one decimal place.